Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Let me just adjust you. Why does it look so... Oh, that's why. Have I moved it too close? Okay. <laughs> I'm set. I'm set, I'm set. Good morning, Pisces. This is your reading. I hope that you are doing amazing. Thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, commented and subscribed to the channel. I very much appreciate you. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I'm very grateful to have you. Just something to address, guys. I did put it in my community tab yesterday. It's not, it's, it's not just once that this has happened and I'm choosing to kind of highlight it now. As I kind of didn't say anything before, but um, I've had inquiries about dating okay to my um email address that i use to kind of like take inquiries for readings what have you yeah please keep it professional if you are reaching out to me um yeah especially those of you who have sent me pictures like i've not requested anything like that so yeah keep it professional readings inquiries um, promo stuff, bring it on. But anything else, please keep it professional. I do not use this platform to date, okay? Um, respectfully, okay, in the nicest possible way. So please just, if you're going to reach out to me, even to just share your stories, I don't even mind that. But yeah, okay, so I needed to highlight it because it's happened a couple of times now. And I'm just like, okay, I have to say something that's out of the way Pisces I hope that you are doing amazing I am coming to you with your reading I hope you've had a good start to the week long may it continue as they say let's take a look at what you need to know Pisces I'm going to be doing some general readings after you mm. oh, my cat is meowing to come inside I just let him outside Okay, let's see. Messages for Pisces. Spirit, please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Pisces needs to know at this time. Tell me about Pisces. The light was looking a bit off, so I had to close the curtains. There was a glare, so you got me in the, the intimacy of the candles and the darkness. To be honest, I've always been like into low lights and intimacy type of lighting. I don't, me, when I walk around my house, you'll think that I'm a vampire because I don't like lights like that. Like come a certain time, my lamp is on. I've got the little glowy things going on. I've always been that way. I'm, uh, I think I'm supposed to be a vampire at heart. <laughs> I like the darkness, you know, not spiritually, but I like the darkness in terms of like, yeah, it just it just makes me feel more centered. So um, yeah, it's the morning, but it's dark in here. Caution in the reverse and fear in the reverse. Mm, okay, we've got hunger in the reverse. The deck is not in the reverse because anger is upright at the bottom of the deck. Okay. We have anxiety in the reverse. Everything is in the reverse, Pisces. Energy is in the reverse and growth. You are letting something go. Very clear message. Growth and energy is in the reverse. Something that was not clear to you with illumination is being let go of in your energy. You could have felt like somebody had dodgy, funky energy. Like you can't smell the energy, but it smells off. Yes. If something's fishy, it probably is fish. That's the type of energy. Caution in the reverse. I don't feel like you're second guessing yourself either with whatever this is, or this is going to be um, somebody related to you, okay? With fear in the reverse, you've got tenacity about this decision, hunger in the reverse, you've lost your passion for something, something has gone sour, something smells fishy, and with anxiety in the reverse, you're saying to me, right, it's time to let something go. And you're kind of doing this with no inhibitions, you're just kind of just, just going where the wind blows you at this point this is what i get this is what i get or someone to do with you wow okay pretty straightforward you're letting something go 
You're saying goodbye, Pisces? Oh, yeah, the full card. Look at that. Mm. You said, I'm done. I don't care. That person's watching you, though, whoever that is, if that's a relationship. Could be you, could be the other person. Okay, let's see. Messages for Pisces. Tell me about Pisces and what they need to know, please, Spirit. Couple more shuffles. Messages for Pisces. Messages for Pisces, please and thank you. Tell me about Pisces. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. I'm hearing Aries. Doesn't have to be though. Sagittarius, Leo maybe. We have the King of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a fire sign. I said it, I called it, it came out of the deck. So we're going to run with it. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a fire sign. Or you've got someone in your energy who is very passionate, fiery. It could just be the energy that you're exuding even. This could even be you, okay? Again, Gender roles on tarot cards, I have to always specify that it doesn't, just because it's a masculine on the card, oh, that can't be me. No, it absolutely can. We all embody masculine and feminine energies at different points. Um, we kind of like dance between the energies, okay? So if you are a feminine watching this, you could be very much showing up as a King of Wands character. And with the energy that I'm seeing here, with you being very fired up to kind of let something go, that actually correlates that that could be you. But some of you could definitely be dealing with a fire sign. Let's see. We have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Oh, okay. We have the Three of Swords. Okay, we got the two of wands. Okay, what is the king of wands here? Tell me about the king of wands, the five of wands. Mm. Okay. We've got the seven of cups. Three of swords. One for the three of swords, please, for Pisces. One for the three of swords for Pisces. Please and thank you. One for the Three of Swords for Pisces. Oh, we've got the Queen of... Oh, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Okay, the Eight of Cups. There's that walking away. There's that walking away energy. Thank you, Spirit. The Four of Swords. The Empress. The hermit, yeah, you're definitely ghosting something. You couldn't trust something or someone with the seven of swords. Somebody was moving shady in these streets. So you ghosted the situation. You got out of the way and dodged. You could very much be sitting in a very confident, abundant energy with the empress. You could be a mother. You could have children. Some of you are definitely ghosting a situation or you're withdrawing, okay? Um, a lot of you have thought about decision, this decision, so it's like, you know that energy of, you thought about something, so others may, may feel like, to them, it's a brash decision, like, whoa, like, where did this come from, from Pisces, meanwhile, Pisces has been planning, Pisces has been thinking about doing this for ages, and then they execute it, this is the energy, you could have shocked somebody with your turning your back, or walking away from a situation, Some of you could have a lot of options. I'll be honest with you, Pisces. You could be dating, exploring options. Uh, I feel like you've got a lot of people who are fighting for your attention, Pisces. I don't know what this is. People could be arguing over you. There could be something going on about wanting to get your attention here. Or there's a fight going on behind the scenes that you may not be aware of. I don't feel like you're directly anywhere near this, whatever this is. But it's about you. King of Wands. I definitely do feel like you're standing in King of Wands energy, confidence, fire, charismatic energy, very humorous, funny. You could be finding the brighter side of life right now, especially if you've been through something that was less desirable, you know, stressful, whatever this is for you. 
the nine of pentacles in the reverse and the seven of cups I do feel like you've got somebody here who you could have been helping or you could have been providing for somebody, Pisces, somebody who didn't have it together. You could have a very selfish individual who's around you, okay? This person's not having a great time at the moment with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. They feel like things are not going right. They feel like they are heartbroken over you. Also, there's some sort of pain attached to you, Pisces. It's like you could have left somebody in the dust. Like, that's what I'm getting with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like somebody could have relied on you too heavily, Pisces. Could have been for money. Could have just been for stability, some sort of crutch. You were somebody's pillar, whether you realise it or not. And with the Seven of Cups, somebody's very confused as to get themselves on their feet again. This could be somebody who looks over at you and becomes very insecure, okay? Um, this person's very insecure, very, very insecure, okay? Whether they voiced that to you or not, or whether they voiced that to you or not, they're extremely insecure and very lost. This person could be very confused. This person could smoke a lot. They could have an addiction, marijuana, um, substances. They could smoke. They could do something to kind of distract from some sort of um, void that they feel or some sort of... This is a person who could bury their problems in a bottle, you know, or bury their problems through getting high or something about stepping into a different type of reality than what is reality on this 3d something like that and they could lose a lot of money from this this addiction that they may have this person could smoke a lot they definitely could smoke a lot they could constantly be high or they like to get high something like that they could have relied on you to supply them as well you could have given this person money unbeknownst to you it was for, for a substance this person could definitely be addicted to something wheel of fortune is in the reverse I feel like with the two of wands, you are choosing something different. The two of wands talks about a choice, okay? And I do very much feel like this is your choice, that you are choosing to go in another direction. But you've got someone here in a complete mess. Somebody's really in a mess over you, Pisces. They are, whether you realise it or not. Let's take a look at what this is. What is the five of wands for Pisces? Tell me about the five of wands for Pisces, please and thank you. The oh, two cards came, um, flipped over. Yeah, who are these two masculines? King of Cups and the King of Swords. The King of Cups fell out on the table. Could be a Scorpio or water sign energy that you've got here. King of Swords also flipped out. You definitely could have two masculines if you're a feminine in competition for your attention this is to clarify the five of wands a water sign a gemini libra aquarius air sign energy for some of you you're into same sex there's a lot of masculine energy here two people are fighting for your attention eight of wands yeah you could speak to both of these people or this is people having a conversation about you. Two masculines could be talking about you. There could be some sort of competition between two friends. Even two people who know each other. Oh yeah, the competition. Five of swords. Yeah, thank you, spirit. Six of cups. You could know these people. College, school, way back. Okay. Um, Ten of pentacles. Yeah, these pe people could definitely be related or... Oh, yeah, five of pentacles. Somebody's getting left out in the cold. What is this? King of swords, king of cups. What is this? We have the seven of wands, more fight energy. People are fighting over you, Pisces. I don't know if you know these people. A water sign, an air sign. Or I don't know, you must know these people because they know you. The sun card, yeah, that tells me yes, you know them. Could be a Leo. I don't think you're aware of what it's what's going on is what I wanted to say. I don't think you're aware of this fight behind the scenes. These people could be friends. Seven of Wands, they're very defensive. And the sun, this could be being revealed to you that, oh yeah, the, the page of Wands, two people could be fighting for you. I wonder if one of them is this 
broken hearted messed up person here a codependent energy somebody could be very up in their emotions about you the nine of cups um tell me about the king of wands tell me about pisces energy because i feel like you're showing up as this king of wands we have the seven of pentacles we have the queen of wands what are you doing pisces and we have the justice cards oh my oh my counterparts here the knight of cups people could be flocking to you pisces very magnetic energy on fire on fire confidence on fleek on point no one can tell pisces nothing right now don't play with pisces pisces will shut you down oh yeah the hanged one the temperance i feel like whether you know it or not the ball is in your court pisces you could just be ugh, there's a confidence about you that's attracting something here a lot of you could have a connection that's coming in we've got the queen of wands and the king of wands if you are a masculine you've definitely got a feminine who is feening over you pining over you even this definitely could be somebody who's fighting between two people between someone else here you could have a new person that you are now with and you could have it, there's a laid-back energy about you pisces it's like yeah it would be nice to be with somebody take it as it resonates you could already be with this person but it would be nice to be with somebody but i'm not pressed like if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't justice card is here you're getting something something's going in your favor somebody's very attracted to you very very attracted to you and it's like with the seven of pentacles it's just like mm, yeah if it happens it happens and something's manifesting here somebody really 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 is attracted to you like really really like really 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 and I feel like the attraction is going to be mutual. And you've got people here down here fighting. Is this the same person? Is this this queen of wands? Could be another fire sign. A fire sign. You definitely could have a fire sign. A death card. Is this the same person? A page of swords. Do you know what I feel like this is? The eight of wands is still there. I feel like Pisces. You have a past person that you dealt with, however loosely that was, okay? Maybe something didn't develop into some a full-blown relationship. Maybe something was a full-blown relationship, but something went amiss in a connection. You've got someone here who is... fight. Take this as it resonates. You've got two masculines here, if you are a feminine, who are kind of combating each other arguing possibly over you trying to get your attention and you're going to be choosing one of these people somebody who you've ended something with in the past is watching you and what they're watching is you get your justice get with somebody this could be that there's a past person who you are, have walked away from that is still kind of trying to be the third party or trying to be connected to you somehow in any which way they can at this point they will accept anything because i don't know what it is about your energy pisces but a lot of people are magnetized to you you just could just be very attractive um extremely attractive you look good you look good if you're older you look very good for your age you look very very good right now and somebody from your past could be trying to intercept a relationship, but you're going to have options. There's options here. Could be a Scorpio or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, fire sign here. You're going to hear about this with the eight of wands coming. Here. Yeah, the, the competition. I'm telling you, you're going to have someone jealous, prob probably voicing it to you as well. Tell me about this, this painful energy in the middle. This could be the person from the past. Hope this is making sense. There's someone who you've walked away from here. The Eight of Wands is still there. Definitely communication coming in for you, Pisces. Um, there's someone who you've walked away from. Um, you've stepped into your power. There's someone new here. And your past person who you walked away from may be very bitter. Very much um, trying to muscle in and be a third party. At this point, they will accept anything from you, Pisces. three of pentacles <laughs> they're willing to be the third party how many people do you see in this card 
One, two, three. I'm telling you, the chariot card and the hierophant, you've got options, Pisces. Oh, yeah, people are stuck on you. They will take anything at this point. Wow, there's a desperation energy about your past person. Tell me about this codependent energy. The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. The Two of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody who you was partnered up with. Somebody who relied on you very heavily. But the Three of Wands, you turned your back on this person. Or you will be. Oh, yeah, there's that full energy that we saw in the beginning. Okay, this is somebody who you had a lot of love for. Or you still do. But it's like... Mm. you want to go towards a new beginning you could have felt drained by this person with the nine of pentacles in the reverse you could feel like this person smokes too much indulges too much tell me about the seven of cups here for pisces oh yeah with the two of swords you feel like somebody blocks their opportunities blocks themselves by always being high or always living in some sort of non-reality or some sort of um yeah something like that some sort of um virtual reality this person could game as well this person could be addicted to gaming and you feel like they don't do anything or this is a person who blocks themselves from from um new opportunities because they indulge in whatever this is tell me about the um three of swords oh the hierophant yeah this is somebody who wanted to be with you this could be somebody who spoke about long-term marriage but i just feel like you've got someone here who is not aligned with you pisces or not in a good place in their life tell me about this wheel of fortune in the reverse somebody's lost you pisces they feel like they've lost you the high priestess Pisces, the Knight of Swords, it's like someone's blaming you Pisces, oh yeah, the Empress and the Four of Swords, somebody's blaming you, the Nine of Swords, somebody's really, really going through it Pisces, if you've turned your back on someone, yeah, they're jealous of someone that you could be speaking to, partnering up with, with the Emperor energy, could be an Aries here, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles is right next to each other, someone feels like you're going towards a new connection, a new relationship, there's no reconciliation for them with the Three of Cups in the reverse, they're possibly going to be reaching out to you, um, Pisces, you see how we had that Empress and the Four of Swords that was kind of partnered up there when we had the shuffle previously. This is you withdrawing. This is you standing in your power. This is definitely you looking good, feeling good, smelling good, attracting a lot of good things into your energy, okay? Giving birth to new things, that type of energy. Somebody feels like you, they're blaming you, Pisces. I'll be honest with you. This is somebody who kind of is holding a grudge against you. We had the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse with the um, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you had somebody here, Pisces, who was so codependent on you being a crutch for them or them being able to rely on you, be that financially, stability, emotional, whatever this was. This person could um, mentally not be in, a, be in a good place, possibly just anyway, but more so now that you're not connected to this person, especially if you were helping this person. Um, they're experiencing, it's like they feel like the wheel is not turning for them, like opportunities are blocked off, but this is a person who kind of like is their own worst enemy, because whatever addiction that they have, whatever things that they do to kind of block out, I feel like we had this for you a couple of readings ago, whatever it is that they do or indulge in is kind of the reason as to why they are not moving forward, not you, but it's Pisces fault, um, Pisces is the reason because we have the high priestess that's your energy we have the high priestess they're very, very they're directing a lot of projection onto you anger frustration but it isn't your fault this is somebody who needs to take responsibility this is somebody who needs to take accountability for their own life choices and what they choose to indulge in you are not the reason why somebody buries their head in the sand you are not the reason why somebody could indulge in substances gaming to forget their life um indulging in in um poor spending you know splashing their cash and not having money for their bills this is the type of energy not very stable you know no one's saying you've got to be a millionaire out here but take care of your bills you know take care of your bills first and then what you have you have 
you know, if you treat yourself, you treat yourself. But this is a person who does things very backwards. I'm hearing ask backwards. And they're direct, they're projecting onto you. You are the reason, Pisces. You are the reason why I can't get my crap together. You are the reason, Pisces, why the wheel is not turning for me. I'm getting bad luck. You are the reason. This could be bad karma as well. We're not going to, you know, outrule that. You are the reason, Pisces, that my life is not together. You are the reason why I'm heartbroken. They're definitely heartbroken over you for turning your back. But this is also a person who doesn't help themselves. And this could be very much the reason as to why you've left them to it. You can't drag a horse to water and force the horse to drink. And this is that energy. You are the reason, Pisces, for this person's crap life. And we absolutely know that is not true. You are not the reason for somebody's downfall. Unless they've done something to you to warrant bad karma. That's possibly a, a thing here. But I just feel like you've got somebody here who doesn't... They're not bossing up. They're not attempting to do any better in their life with the Nine of Pentacles. This person could definitely suffer from mental health issues. This could be a blockage to them. But it's like definitely could be a blockage to them. Especially if they have something mentally going on and that's no shade okay we all have bouts of you know not feeling the best mentally wherever you are on the scale i've been through depression in a very big way okay so that's I, and i have to put my hands up to that because i'm not sitting here saying that people don't go through mental health issues ah uh, okay <laughs> so uh, yeah don't come at me in the comments i am a big advocate for therapy i am a big advocate for doing what you need to do to get your mind right how you gonna win when you ain't right within as lauren hill said in the song you know i'm very much a big advocate for mental health being patient with yourself hence the reason a big part of why i even started doing this and why i even got into tarot okay but that's a whole nother story Somebody is not taking accountability for their own situation, their own woes, things that they may need to address. Everybody needs to take responsibility. You can't just palm it off. No, you are the reason and your choices are the reason. Crosswatcher. You are the reason. It's interesting because the last Pisces reading, we got third party energy. Two feminines and a masculine, I think. Might, might be related take it as it resonates okay these readings you need to put it how as it goes put yourself where you go in the story and don't force it you know if this doesn't sound like you it's possibly not your story but you have someone here who is blaming you for crap in their life things that they can't get right in their life that's what i see pisces that's what i see let's grab you an outcome I do see you getting together with somebody else. I feel like this person right here is a um, past person. Could be another Pisces. We have Earth energy. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We've got Taurus here as well. Fire sign is very strong, but I do strongly get that you are sitting in fire sign energy, which is interesting because you're a water sign. But I just get an energy. You're doing things like you thought about this this is not on a whim with the four of swords you thought about this you thought about your growth and what you're giving birth to okay could be um literally you could be giving birth but you know your new beginning okay what your growth moving forward looks like this is not something you just woke up one day like going to the shop to get a pint of milk oh i'm gonna get a pint of milk that's it no you've actually thought about this so this tells me that this is a long time coming and this person feels like you've pulled the wall from underneath them. Maybe they never expected you to abandon the situation. Maybe they always felt like they could lean on you or you would always be there. But this is someone who's not getting it together. And in turn, it's like they need to learn the lesson that they're not learning with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. That they cannot be codependent on someone else's energy. They cannot you know, um, expect someone else to wipe their backside when they're not helping themselves help help everybody must help people absolutely okay you mustn't be stingy out here but that's a whole nother conversation but don't take the mick 
take responsibility for your life. You know, do your part so I can do my part for you. You know? What is the outcome here for Pisces? The Eight of Wands. You're going to hear about someone uh, talking about you, talking to your person, fighting over you, something like that. There's an argument going on that you don't even, it's in the distance. It's in the distance, Pisces. You don't even realise or you might be getting to know this coming up here. The Page of Cups. There's that fantasy energy again. The Ace of Cups. Oh, yeah. The Page of Swords in the reverse. Somebody may even try to smear your name because you're getting with somebody new because you're opening up to new love. Ace of Cups. And it's definitely this person who is going through some sort of unlucky spell in their life due to the changes that they're not willing to make. The King of Wands. There we have it. The King of Wands and the Knight of Wands. I'm telling you, you're going to have a lot of people coming towards you, attracted to you. There's a lot of lustful energy here as well so use your discernment when you are picking partners page of wands in the reverse there's somebody here who is extremely immature there could be an age difference between the two of you who needs to do the work the queen of wands double confirmation double confirmation look what we have look Ugh. very very clear message there's partners here you've got a counterpart coming in you do fire sign energy strong fire Said it from the beginning. Queen of Wands, King of Wands, times two, two different decks they've come out. This is what you've got to look forward to, a connection. While somebody else, <sighs> yeah, looks at what they've invested in and the fact that they need to invest differently to get a different result. Three of Cups, celebration here. Four of Wands, a lot of you could be getting married, union, taking a relationship to the next level. The Seven of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. This is going to be a union that you're going to be very protective of, okay? And it could very much be because you know that somebody's going to bring BS to your door, especially if they're feeling bitter over the help that they wasn't able to take from you when you were giving it to them. The Six of Cups, your past, Six of Cups is there. You have someone from your past that is blaming you for everything. They're blaming you for their dog not being well. Touch wood, that's not the case. They're blaming you for the fact that, you know, the letter that they was expecting through their door didn't come. They're blaming you. They're blaming you, Pisces. It's all your fault. Okay, don't take that energy on. Because this is a person who needs to take control of their own life and make some better choices. And do the healing. Go to therapy. There's nothing wrong with therapy. I will advocate therapy all day long. Whatever gets your mental state right, whatever it is that you're, you're needing to balance out your energy, do it. Do it. Don't shy away from doing the healing and the work. And it's not easy. Trust me, it's not easy to do that. But it's a thing that needs to be done. You cannot blame someone else for the changes you're not making, for you sitting on the couch playing video games all day because you can't face reality. You know, you can't, that's not someone else's fault. That's you. That's on you to grab a hold of your life and do something different. Break the cycle. And again, it's hard. But don't blame someone else for your own, you know, choices where things are not moving forward. You can't get a grip. You know, you overspend. Try not to overspend. Try not to treat yourself to things if you can't afford it. You know? Pisces, that is what I have for you. I don't know who this is you're dealing with, but that's what I got for you. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, Pisces, thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Have a good Tuesday. Bye.